Hi guys, this is Creature from the Lifestyle.com and this is my vlog. I'm sorry I wasn't able to post a video last week. Um, that's because I was on vacation in Turkey. But that's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is that between the time that I posted last to today, uh, something really cool has happened, um, which is I have become the disciple of a guru. What does that even mean? Um, the word guru gets thrown around left, right, and center. People say, oh, I'm the guru of financial investing, or I'm a guru of beauty tips or something like that. But um, it the w word in Sanskrit and Hindi, Bengali uh, means master, teacher. But uh, it actually has a much bigger and heavier meaning behind that. So the first time I heard the word guru in that sense was in a yoga class. And uh, one time in class, one of the teachers was talking about having, um, hearing about her guru, but it was in a dream. And she was recovering from something serious in the hospital. And one time, one night in her dream, her guru came and, you know, they spoke and she realized this is his guru. And then she was talking about, oh, how, um, Gurus don't even need to be alive. You can feel connected to somebody even they've passed on with their teachings. And at the time, you know, I just went to yoga class for exercise. So I was like, uh, that's a bit too much out there. No thanks. Uh, the second time was in the book Eat, Pray, Love. I'm sure you've all heard of it by Elizabeth Gilbert. Um, and she spoke about finding her guru, she walked into a room, saw her guru's photo, and instantly felt connected to her and adapted this woman as her guru. Then, um, because of my meditation, as you guys know, I've been meditating for almost a year now, um, well, over a year, but in my particular yoga meditation for almost a year, and I got the chance to meet the person who first gave this meditation yoga technique called Atma Kriya yoga um, into the world and um, he is a guru but the first time I met you know I was floored I had an amazing experience but I didn't feel like this is my guru you know then over the next four months slowly 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 I realized that yeah this is it um, and what what is so important about um, taking a guru and becoming someone's disciple like that. The lesson behind all of it is humility. So it was extremely hard for me to accept somebody else as my guru because it meant that instant I have to admit that that person smarter than me, wiser than me, more loving than me, knows a lot more than me and just has their shit together um, a lot better than I do and that is really really hard for people for humans to admit so it took a while but I eventually got there in the same sense I want you to ask yourself when the last time you demonstrated humility in this way the most extreme example of uh, humility was um, given by Mother Teresa. She put the poor people of Calcutta above her, as higher than her, as bigger than her, and she became humble to them. Martin Luther King Jr., for example, he put his fellow African Americans above him. He gave his life to the cause, to this cause that he put as bigger than him. Um, on a more day-to-day -day level, think of maybe somebody at your office, that girl who stays till she needs to and who does whatever she can to get the job done because the job, the work, is bigger than her. That's an example of humility. So I'm going to ask you to think of something you can do that is humble in that way. And it's not, not something that is charitable and by doing that somebody else will be like oh look at her isn't she great she's you know doing voluntary work she's doing charity work not like that your ego loves that stuff um, but think of something so humble that you can do that will actually piss your ego off your yeah think about it do it and you have two days to do it it's very important to do it right away and just so you get a feel of the reaction. I 
promise you that it will be a good reaction. Also, if you're interested in finding out more about my guru, his name is Swami Vishwananda, and uh, I will post the link to his website under this video so you can check him out. But please go to my website, sign up for my newsletter, and uh, I will see you next week. Thanks. Bye. Morning. It's another pure gray morning. Don't know what the day is holding. And I get up right home and I walk right into the path of a lightning bolt.